don't twist scripture to fit your little, you know what? Just, just go seriously, go. You're the reason why Christians are getting their, their butts handed to them. You want to be going to love the world so much, then go love them again. Bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other because that's all you are good for. You scripture twisting Jezebel. Bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other. Bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other. Bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other because that's all you are good for. All right, there's another video exposing the possible Jesuit coadjutor, Rich Pankowski. And the reason why I call him a Jesuit coadjutor is not just because his a lot of his doctrines regarding salvation and even other miscellaneous doctrines too, line up perfectly with Rome and are taught in uh, in the Jesuit, you know, the Council of Trent, it was, it was presided over by Jesuits. I showed that in my other video about his, his uh, Jesuit heresies on salvation. But a lot of his behavior is that of a Jesuit coadjutor. And one example of this is the sort of bitterness and anger that has been a core tenant of Rome and the Jesuits when it comes to dealing with their enemies or dealing with you know reproof or correction or whatever else. A common history even before the Jesuit order existed of just you know a common theme of the Catholic Church throughout history has been just this extreme you know borderline murderous bitterness and anger towards uh, anybody who opposes their system, anybody who disagrees with their system. And you see that with Pankowski when he gets rebuked, not just by myself, you know, by a sister in Christ, others have rebuked him, even people who used to affiliate him, who even believe similar heresies to him. When they rebuke him, just Pankowski's like the devils in him just come out and he just goes into this, this satanic frenzy, this fit of rage and says all kinds of just nasty, nasty, bitter, you know, junk, essentially. But his bitterness that he shows, I'm going to show in these screenshots, by the way, uh, is that of a Jesuit coadjutor. Okay. This is in the Jesuit extreme oath of unction. Uh, this is, you know, basically someone who's a coadjutor would display this kind of attitude. And this is the this is where the bitterness of Pankowski uh, lines up with, with that of a Jesuit coadjutor. This is an excerpt. It says, I furthermore promise and declare that I will, when opportunity presents, make and wage relentless war secretly or openly against all heretics, Protestants, and liberals, as I am direct, uh, directed to do, to extradite and exterminate them from the face of the whole earth, and that I will spare neither sex, nor age, nor condition, and that I will hang, waste, boil, flay, strangle, and bury alive those infamous heretics, rip up the stomachs and wombs of their women, and crush their infants' head against the walls in order to annihilate forever their uh, excre sorry, excredible race, not good at reading on a computer, uh, and that some cannot be done openly. I will secretly use the poison cup, the strangulating cord, the, the steel, uh, or the uh, ponard, of the, or the laden bullet, regardless of the honor, rank, uh, dignity or authority of the persons or persons, uh, whatever they, whatever may be their condition in life, either public or private, as I at, at any time may be directed to do so by any agent of the Pope or superior or the brotherhood of the holy faith, uh, faith of the society of Jesus. You see, Roman Catholicism, their, especially with the Jesuit order, their, the saying goes, without the shedding of the blood of the heretic, there's no remission of sins. See, their, their system uh, the Jesuit order and Roman Catholicism in general is a murderous cult. It's based around bloodshed. It's, it's no different than Islam, which by the way, is uh, was a product of Roman Catholicism. So Roman Catholicism has been bloodthirsty from the start. It is a murderous cult, plain and simple. And you see this kind of bitterness because they're told to, to wage relentless war. You know, and you'll see with a lot of Jesuit co they'll have the, just the extreme anger and bitterness towards their enemies. You know, they won't actually deal with them on a scriptural basis, it's just this, this ranting and raving towards their enemies. You see that with a guy called Mark, Martin Richland. You know, he, he, he displays the exact same type of bitterness as Benkowski. And he, he is a, a Jesuit co -adjutor. He admitted that he uh, worked with Jesuits and he wanted to be a Jesuit and everything else. So a common trait of the Jesuit co is just this like over the top satanic frenzy and rage against their enemies. And you're gonna see that with Benkowski in these screenshots. Uh, just absolute complete bitterness. This first screenshot is from his Facebook page. Shows the kind of spirit this guy has, or so the, the, the sort of spirit is of. Definitely not the Holy Spirit. There's no fruit of the spirit whatsoever. This screenshot, he uh, it posted a little meme. He says, I hope God lets us watch him throw our slanderers into hell. I really want to see that. Really? So basically anybody who slanders him, and by the way, when he says slander, pretty much if you, if you rebuke him or expose him, 
you know, and, and take the Bible and rebuke him, you know, scripturally rebuke him, he calls that slander. See, that's what these, these, a lot of these street papists, if you, if you rebuke them scripturally, they, they confuse reproof with slander and persecution. But you see that he's wanting to like, oh, I hope God lets me watch, you know, my enemies burn in hell, you know? Talked about the, you know, the Jesuit oath of unction, you know, I'm gonna burn, you know? And you see the Catholics, they would, you know, publicly burn heretics at the stake because why? They take pleasure in it, that's why. Uh, this is a screenshot on, an, on his Instagram page He's being rebuked by a sister in Christ. She says, we should give them the gospel and let them know that Jesus can set them free. Uh, if you gave the gospel to them, that's a good thing. But telling this person win, uh, wins what aids isn't sharing the gospel. And look at his response. No, no scriptural, you know, uh, you know, no scripture whatsoever. It's just his response is shut up. You know? Yeah. You know, because he knows exactly what he's doing. Whoever his Jesuit handlers are. And then I respond saying, you are a wicked lying devil. EJ Love exposed you for the devil and pervert that you are. You are prideful and puffed up just like your father the devil. You know, I quote Isaiah 14, verse 12 to 15. Repent of your, of uh, repent you wicked devil before it's too late. Now, at the time I thought, oh, he's just a, you know, false prophet. If he is a Jesuit coadjutor, I don't expect him to repent because he knows exactly what he's doing uh, because he is, his handlers are giving him the marching orders. But just notice that bitterness. No, just you know, loving reproof from the sister in Christ. His response: Shut up. You know, the, the uh, typical Jesuit type bitterness. Uh, this is the other screenshot. He says, uh, "E." So this is him responding to me. E.J. Love, the child predator liar. Lo, you're a moron and a tool just like him. He exposed me. Lo, what a tool. Uh, that's why he has been rebuked by everyone. Only a moron would believe. Believe, he got. Weird spelling error. He has a lot of these spelling errors too. Is actually kind of funny. He says, "Believe that homo." That's another thing about Rich Minkowski. If you disagree with them, you're just a closeted homo, pretty much. That's what they. That's what they uh, will throw at you. And, and and the sister in Christ, she responds, "I think it's funny how you attack others who mention or try to correct you." I said nothing wrong, and said homosexuals need the gospel, and you want them. You want to tell me to shut up? Seriously, dude, you need to stop this. Repent. And I I respond to uh, him, "You are." Uh, are you even able to spell? You write like you are high on weed. Don't worry, I've kept screenshots of this conversation and, and, and your other wicked comments. You are an accuser of the brethren just like your father Satan. And I quote Revelation 12.10. Uh, if you don't repent, I pray the Lord Jesus Christ shuts your lying, slanderous mouth. Uh, sorry, lying, slanderous, railing mouth. You realize that calling someone a child predator without proof is a criminal offense. EJ Love could take you to court and, and charge you for defamation. But... Uh, not that sorry, but not much is to be expected from you or your lying team of devils. That was my re rebuke back to him because at that point I've been fully convinced that he's a lost devil and and you know basically going out like like I would with a Pharisee. But you notice that just 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 name calling and insulting that kind of stuff, just personal attacks. Another thing of Jesuit coadjutors, it's all just personal attacks, personal attacks, not actually addressing you, not actually responding with scripture, just personal attacks all the time. Why? because he is displaying the bitterness of a Jesuit coadjutor. Plain and simple. The Jesuit coadjutor is meant to wage relentless war against the heretics, you know? And when you rebuke them, when you correct them, you know, common trait throughout Catholic history is just this anger and bitterness and just railing and personal attacks and this and that, just like his father Satan, you know? That's the truth of the matter. So another, you know, big red flag of a Jesuit coadjutor that is being displayed by Rich Pankowski, as well as a lot of his other street papist buddies he hangs out with. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. Don't be deceived by this wicked devil. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.